Hey guys, so after priming our eyes, I'm gonna go in with this new Smashbox Photo Finish Eyeshadow Trio. This is in the shade Pick Me. I love these colors. I think they're perfect for Valentine's Day. So I'm going in with this pinkish transition shade first and popping that into my crease and onto my lid. I love the formula of this matte eyeshadow. They're not patchy. They blend out so good. The pigmentation is on point. And when I dip in for more product, there is absolutely no kickback or fallout or anything like that. And you guys, please do not mind the lash glue on my lash line. It's being a little stubborn and does not want to come out. So yeah. For our lid, I'm gonna go in with this super bomb glittery purple eyeshadow. I was not expecting this much <laughs> this much pigmentation, but dang, I was shook. It's so pretty. I'm just using my finger to pack on the pigment and then going in with a brush to just buff out the edges. And then I'm also gonna layer the pink eyeshadow right on top of it. If you guys can't already tell, but the glitter kind of does get everywhere. You do have fallout using this eyeshadow, so just keep that in mind. Do your eyes first if you're gonna use these eyeshadows. Anyways, moving on, we're gonna go in with the Beige Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil eyeshadow palette. I'm just going with a deep purple eyeshadow and just place that in the outer corner of my eye just to get some sort of like dimension because I don't want my eyeshadow to look too flat, so adding that deeper shade in there really helps. Now I'm just gonna do my eyeliner and I'm gonna wing it out today. I started with a gel pencil, didn't like the way it turned out, so I moved over to a gel eyeliner and it looks much better. And then I just used a felt tip liquid liner towards the very front to have it like look a little bit nicer and put together anyways we're just using a makeup wipe to wipe away any fallout and then i'm gonna take some concealer and sharpen out my wing a bit more now i'm just applying some mascara to my upper lashes and then throwing on a pair of huda beauty lashes and i forgot the name but i'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested. I never got into this product, but I'm just gonna use it today because I kind of felt like using it. <laughs> but this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go in with this LC Micro Silk Foundation. I am in the shade Vanilla. I love to use this foundation with my sponge. It's a very natural looking foundation, but it's also buildable. It dries down to a powder finish, so if you want more coverage, you just do one layer, let that set, and then you go in with another layer, and that will just build up the coverage without making your face look cakey. Now I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette, and I'm going to take this contour shade and just contour my face. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this Cover FX highlighter, and this is in the shade Blossom. Ugh, this is like so pretty for the springtime and Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna just pop this on the highest points of my cheekbones, above my brow bone, the center of my face, just to give me like an all over luminous glow. Alrighty, up next we are gonna go in with the concealer by Urban Decay. It's the full coverage waterproof one. I am in the shade Fair and Neutral, and all it takes to cover up these dark circles is three dots, and that's it. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this RCMA Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I feel like this concealer doesn't really need to be set because it dries down really, really matte, but I just do it just in case. And this is a really interesting product. It's been sitting in my makeup collection for so long, and I haven't tried it yet. But this is a pink powder that you set your eyes with. I'm excited for it. I'm taking a little bit of that and just going right underneath my eyes. I feel like I should have used more powder. I don't know, I'm going to experiment with this a little bit more. Up next, I'm going to use this CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist Powder. I did an entire review on this CoverGirl like no makeup makeup collection. I'll have the video linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Into the waterline, I'm going to go in with any kind of purple eye cold pencil that you guys have. This one is from Urban Decay and it's the 24-7 glide on pencils these personally don't really stay on my waterline but i really like the color and then we're just gonna soften up that eyeliner so it's not super super harsh i don't know if you guys remember this but i was so obsessed with this makeup forever pro fusion bronzer oh my goodness i was so obsessed i was using it in every single video i'm just gonna use this to bronze up my skin it is waterproof so this kind of bronzer lasts a lot longer then I'm gonna use this Becca blush. I don't know, I don't really like it. It's It doesn't really do much for me. 
I'm gonna go in with this Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive. Ooh, this is like one of my favorite highlighters. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna apply this to all the areas where we highlighted. And then topping it off with the Artist Couture Illuminati highlighter as well. And then I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Boldly Bear Lip Pencil and then filling it in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush. They're like perfect for each other. And then topping it off with Joseph Colors Lip Gloss in collaboration with Katie and Desi. All right, and that is the finished Valentine's Day look. It's super fun and flirty, and it's definitely super pink. And I hope all of you guys are going to have a super fun Valentine's Day if you're spending it with your loved ones or just like your friends or if you're just spending it alone. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Uh, uh, uh.